Hi guys, um, it's Paul again, and uh, welcome to my art tutorials. Tonight, um, this is going to be it's the evening of Friday actually, so it's um, gonna, this is going to be uploaded later tonight, and it'll go uh, out tomorrow, which will be day six of UK school closures and lockdown uh, due to the corona outbreak pandemic. I uh, hope everything's okay and you're safe and well. And staying away, safe distances from other people that aren't in your immediate family. Um, anyway, we're gonna tonight. We're just gonna have a very quick. Uh, we're gonna look at a um, a sloth actually, just a lazy sloth. Um, so again, this is a bit of a Japanese uh, kawaii. This is called kawaii um, characterization of animals, cartoon characters. So we we'll start off with his nose. Okay, I'm going to draw his nose, which will look something like this. Okay, now classic sloth, we need to do is to first of all draw a curve over here. So I'm going to draw one curve, and I'm going to stop it here. <coughs> Excuse me, and then we're going to go triangle here, triangle over here, and then one this way, and then we're going to continue the curve like this, okay, now what I'll do is do a circle going to be kind of a, a flattish circle really, it's like a circle that's been squashed. So we're going to go up here, we're going to do another triangle here, and one here. Okay, and then we're going to carry on with this curve. It's going to go around and it's going to touch this one. There you go. So. Classic sloth, the brown sections here, and it'll go this way. Okay, and then we've got another one here, which what I want you to do is just to touch the edge of this nose here, and it'll go up and round, something like that, okay? And now we're going to have a sleepy sloth, so a lazy sloth, so we're going to show you that he's asleep by doing two half circles like that. Okay. I'll do a small circle there. A small circle there. Okay, now the rest of his body. So I'm going to start with a line here. And then this is his front paw, so it's simply going to be this is a real kind of cartoony, cute image here. So I'm going to do three triangles for his, for his nails there, okay? Then out of the second triangle, do one line like this. And this is his back paw, the back foot. I go up and round like this. I'm going to do three more triangles like this. One, two, three. Okay, now what you want to see is a curve here now. And we're going to get a line here. I'm going to try and curve this so that we'll start it about here. Okay, curve it round. there. Okay, now we want to see is the back foot. We've got another foot here, but we can only see two of his spikes or his nails like that. Okay, and that is your lazy sloth. We'll just draw where I would say you want that shade. Draw another one here. 
up here across and then we'll go in there so get my trusty greyish silver out in a while and have a go at um, have a go at that okay so what I'll do is we need to start now coloring in so you can use whatever kind of grey and brown that you like um, and probably start off with like a it's a bit too orangey really, I think. It's kind of a mustardy colour. Yeah, I'm not happy with that, so I'll, I'm going to change straight away to a slightly deeper brown here. And we'll go round. Just choose a, a nice lightish grey, really, sorry, brown for this. Again, see if you can shade in the same direction if you can. So, you know, I'm just doing this really for the video. You probably spend a bit more time shading. You want to see no white space if you can help it. Okay, don't press down too hard at, at the start. Now, we want to go inside these lines here. Try your best not to um, go over the lines. Okay, not too much of a problem if you're going to use a fine line black marker afterwards. That's what I normally do for a cartoon like this. Let's try and get that colour in now. There we go. Okay, it's coming on. It's quite a big expanse of brown here, so it'll take you some time to shade in, colour in, shade in this area here. Okay. Now, I'm a, I'm a geography teacher, so I teach about rainforests and sloths, and sloths will spend most of the time up in the high canopy. You don't often see them in the rainforests, They're normally in the rainforests of South, Af uh, South America, so um, I find them in places like Brazil. You see them in Chester Zoo, I think there's a couple in Chester Zoo, actually, they used to be, I don't know whether they're still there. Um, there was one or two last time I went a few years ago now in um, the Jaguar enclosure, in the middle of the Jaguar enclosure. In Chester Zoo we're doing a live uh, feed from the zoo today but we couldn't get it to work. Anybody else had that same problem? Well, it was really popular or just the technology was down, I don't know, but uh, there you go. And today the leader of the country, Boris, has uh, come down with suspected coronavirus. He's been tested and uh, he, he seems to think that it's quite mild. It's not always mild, obviously, but uh, he's got a mild condition at the moment. It's three of the top dogs in the... In the uh, Evening briefings have been struck down with suspected coronavirus tonight. It's supposed to be quite windy this weekend. I think it'll probably blow the sloth out of the tree, how windy it's going to be. I think around here in the northwest, I'm just outside Sandbach in Cheshire, it's um, it's given out about 45 miles an hour wind on uh, Sunday coming in. It's supposed to be quite cloudy and down to about 7 or 8 degrees, but I'm feeling like about 2, I think. So, uh, anyway, so turning this into a ginger, ginger sloth. Very gingery. More like orangutan's colour, this, I think. Got like a, a light, much lighter brown. It'd probably be better than this colour. Almost like a beigey colour. Okay. Here we go. So, see if you can get inside the lines here because we're going to leave 
probably leave his nails white actually on the white paper, cartridge paper. I'm using an Art Gecko pad here, which is a really good pad. A5, sorry, A3 size, you can get me A5 size actually. Um, got this on Amazon in the UK. Um, Art Gecko, it's a UK based company, really good. Really good quality paper. best to stay one direction again here. Again, you don't want to be leaning your, your hand on the paper too much because it'll smudge. It's much more important when you're using charcoals, if you've ever tried using charcoals, drawing with. Smudge is really easy. I did a choker a few weeks ago with the kind of, kind of cloud and mist behind him and it was, uh, I did it in charcoal. It was really difficult to uh, control your, your movement of your hand. Put paper over the top, it's still smudged. Of brown here. Here we are. So what you want to do is just make sure. I'll we'll sometimes go around this outside edge here with with the colour so that I can then just blend it in from the inside so I don't go over the edges. There we go. This pencil needs sharpening again. If you watch my one last night, I've actually sharpened my black tonight. And there we go. After this, I'm going to just do a very, very quick video for well, three to five year olds, really, just to show you I can quickly draw a cartoon in about five, well, not even that, two minutes. That'll be my next one, I think. Right, a little bit more brown, and I think I'm almost done with this brown. So careful that you don't go over the uh, the fine spi spikes of his claws or his nails. It's lost the famous frown. Sharp the claws are. There we are. Right, so that's our sloth to start off with. Put a bit more shading in there in a little while. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go round now, just so you can see. This is a Stabilo. If you watched any of the videos, you'll know this. A Stabilo um, 0.88 fine marker pen. This is really good. So round the uh, nails as well. Round the nails. There we go, right around this outside edge. There we go, round his head there. This is much better now when you've got the pen. So again, sometimes you could rub out the pencil. There's no need to really if you're going over the same pencil line. Over the edge here. That's it. You can see the definition coming in now. Let's go around this. There we go. That looks much better already, doesn't it? Just by putting that pen line in. So again, try and keep the curve going here. There we go. And then we just do one line there. Triangle, triangle, thicker there, thicker on this side, and then curve 
this round. And then we'll try and get this curve going here. Down to the it's kind of flatter here. There you go. Round these eyes. It doesn't really matter when you do this, you could do this at the start if you'd rather. Some people rather do it at the start and then you just stay inside the black lines, it's entirely up to you. I prefer to do it at the end, but you can do it at the beginning, no problem. Line, circle, line oval, oval, there we are. And then we've just got the top of his head to do, so get some triangles going here. That's it. Curve again here, so there we are. That's cool. Oh, and one line there, missed one. There, all right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this grey to give him a bit of shade underneath, a shadow. Shade, sorry, shadow. Try and go around this here. Don't want to be too tight in here. Well, I've, I've done it with pencil, but you could do it without really. I might use a little bit of black or something underneath here just to see, show it's really. darker by his body as if he's touching the ground so we'll go over this in a darker shade in a minute there we are try not to have any white space here right there we go so let's go for a bit of black underneath here Be a little bit loose with this. Try and blend it into the grey if you can. There we are. Take it close to the body itself. Head sitting the ground. Great, that looks good. Right, so now what I want to do is um, think about black. So let's just do his nose first. So his nose is going to be black. What I'd probably do is see if I can get it going all the same direction. Nice and smooth. You want a shiny black nose, really. You might want to keep a little bit white. Let's top edge here, maybe. Something like that. Just for a bit of interest in the nose, really. This kind of art's called Kawai. K A W A W I. And it's a bit like chibi art in Japan. Um, but it's mainly for animals. It's like cute animals who do dolphins and narwhals and things like that. Well, there we go, that's good. Okay. Now, I'm a slightly darker brown here for this. This eye. Let's 
slightly darker on this side here. Then on the other edges. And then just obviously, you just want to lighten it up here through the middle so you can still see his eyes closed. Otherwise, you're going to have to go over it again with your black. So, this is what I do, just nice and light. Okay, nice and light around this bit. This is going to be pink to show that he or she is blushing. And again, darker at the top, darker around this outside edge than anywhere else, okay? Just bring that darkness down here a little bit and then much lighter through the middle. Because again, you want to see the eye closed. Like this. Again, try and just keep the keep it light in the middle. Doesn't have to match really. It's probably better that it doesn't. Um, so nearly there now. Just got a slight bit of pink. Just for his he, her, his cheeks. There we are. Perhaps go over these eyes a little bit more. Just to make sure you can see them clearly. There we are. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my kawaii art. So make sure you sign your artwork. Write something like... Okay, something like that. And there's a sloth, ginger sloth, perfect. Okay, um, I hope you're well anyway, and um, just make sure uh, if you can, if you're interested in this kind of uh, art tutorial work, um, I've been doing quite a few of these during the school closures, so if you're interested just uh, hit subscribe for me, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get to 100 um, subscribers by the end of next week, so I've basically got oh, this weekend and then uh, a week to go and I think we're on about 48 subscribers only started the uh, YouTube channel about three or four weeks ago um, so we're doing okay but um, obviously share it with your friends um, share it with your uh, siblings if you've uh, got brothers or sisters in the house and uh, see if you can have a competition against one of your parents to see who can do the best piece of art in a limited amount of time this video has been 23 minutes so um, yeah you've basically got uh, it's coming up to 25 minutes now, 24 minutes or so. Um, so give yourself 25 minute um, time slot and see if you can uh, beat your parents. Anyway, I'll speak to you tomorrow. All right, bye. -bye.